Hi everyone, my name is KSS Chaitanya of Secondary ECE, Ace Engineering College. As we all know about the traffic lights, right? So we have to know how the actual traffic lights work. So that can be easily explained with the help of this four-way traffic light controller using Arduino. So we required some of the components for this prototype project. So there are so there are total six type of components. The first one is the Arduino Uno, that is a hardware, and the second one is the Arduino IDE, that is a software. And next third one is the LED, that is a light emitting device, which is of three colors, that is of red, yellow, and as the green. So next one is the resistors, which is of 220 ohms, and the connecting wires, and at the last we have the breadboard. Next, let us know about the Arduino Uno hardware. So Arduino, what is Arduino Uno hardware? Arduino Uno hardware is nothing but the open source practical board. It consists of Atmega 328P microcontroller, which is the heart of the Arduino Uno board, which is released in the year of 2010 by Arduino CC. It also has the digital analog I.O. pins. So this is how the actually the Arduino Uno hardware board looks like. These are the components and among all these components, this is the one of the major one. So this is the Atmega 328P microcontroller, which is also called as the heart of this Arduino Uno hardware. And the next one is the input power supply pin, which is very useful to us. And next is the crystal oscillator, USB connector, which is connected to the computer or desktop or laptop. And the, here you have a reset button and the output power supply pins and as the analog pins. So this is the overall view of this Arduino IDE software. By that we can select the communication port. So by selecting the port and from the port to directly to the Arduino board. This is how it actually looks like. So the tick mark is nothing but the compile and the next one is nothing which is indicated with the arrow that is the upload one and this, this is the reason we have to write the code. So next as I told before about the components, so one of the main component is the LED, LED is a light emitting diode, we always know about it. So there are two terminals, so first is the cathode and second is the anode. The cathode is nothing but the connected to the ground and the anode which is connected to the 5 volts through a resistor. So the resistors are used in this our prototype project. So to increase the durability of the LED and also to protect the current fluctuations, I mean to protect the LED from the current fluctuations and as well as the voltage drops. So this is the actual resistor looks like and this is the symbolic representation of the resistor. So the next component is the connecting wires. The connecting wires, it also has another name, it's called, it's called as the jumpers. This is how the connecting wires looks like, which is of different colors. So next we are using a breadboard, right? So, let's, so this is a construction base which is used to build the various external circuits that is of the electronic circuits. So guys, let us know about the pin note of the project. So the pins of 2, 3, 4, 5 are given to the red colored LEDs. Similarly in the same manner, the pins of 6, 7, 8, 9 are given to the yellow LEDs and the pins of 10, 11, 12 and 13 are given to the green LEDs. So this is the schematic of the project. You can actually view this. So let us know about the changing of the green signal from east to the south. So here you can clearly observe that the blinking of yellow color will be taken place. It is nothing but it is indicating that when the signal is about to change from one direction to another direction, there will be blinking of these yellow colors. So this is how it looks like. Similarly, the same thing will be repeated. So guys, let us see about the program code. The program code is divided into two parts. So coming to the first part, the part one is the setup in that the declaration of IO pins takes place. So IO pins is nothing but the input and the output pins. As you can see the code here, this is the code for the declaration of IO pins. So this is the entire code. The part two is nothing but the, the loop. So whatever the code we actually write here, it will be keep on executing. That is the meaning of the loop. We always know about it. So this is the code for the red color. So, so this is the code for the yellow color lights. So coming to the last one, which is the color that is a green color. So program code for the changing the green signal from the east to south. So in order to make it happen, we have to follow at the, the, at the direction of the green to of east and as well as the red of the south should be low. Low is nothing but the, the LED should be off. This is the program for the blinking of the yellow light, for the allowing the traffic from the south. So in order to make this, so we have to make sure that the red light of the east should be on and as well as the green light of the south should be on. Here you can clearly see that the same logic is keep on repeating for the every direction.
see the what are the required components for this prototype project so first we have the arduino you know hardware board this is the arduino you know hardware board it consists of many components so after this we have the connecting cable which is of type b port this type b port is used to connect the arduino board in this manner so at the other end we have the usb this usb is used to connect directly to the cpu central processing unit of the computer so after completion of this we have the connecting wires these are also called as the jumpers and we have the three leds of three colors that is of red color yellow and as well as the green color and the last we have the resistors which is of the 230 ohms so as you can see that there are four breadboards here the main reason considering four breadboards is to represent the different directions that is the direction of north east west and as well as the south so let me show a connection of one led as you can see that led consists of two terminals the positive terminal from here it is connected to the digital pin which is of the second pin through a resistor and the other end that is a negative terminal that is connected to the ground and to the arduino board so in the same manner the connections are given to the remaining leds to complete the whole circuit so after completing the required connections for the circuit so this is the type b port this can be connected to the cpu in this manner so here you can see that the arduino ide id that stands for integrated development environment and this is the region where we have to enter the code and i told before this is the compile button and the next which is indicated with the arrow that is the upload button we already compiled the code and as well as the uploaded the code as the output of the circuit we can see the green color that is here you can see that the green light is on for the time period of 3 seconds that is 3000 milliseconds the green light is shifted from the east to the south and after completion of south it is moved towards the west and after the west it is finally resulted to the north direction so in the same manner the signal will be keep on changing from one direction to the another direction for the time period of 3 seconds that's it i hope you gain some of the information regarding this prototype project thanks for watching